Hello, good morning. This company sent this out to me, like this play out fitness game. I love these. I really love the partner work one and I can't wait to use this whenever I'm in the gym. They have eight different exercises to do with your partner and I love how it has instructions on the bottom on how to perform that exercise. It tells you the level too, like if you want it easy, medium or hard, it just tells you how many reps you could do with your partner. And then it also has like upper body and lower body exercises. Yeah, each of these have like 10 different ones, like arm circles, cardio, different cardio exercises you can do with your students or yourself. But the best thing about these is that you don't need equipment, like you don't need weights, just do this at home. It's like kid friendly. I teach virtually, so I've scanned these and then just put them in a Google Drive and, and then add them into my slides. The only con about these is I wish they were bigger. The font size is way too small. So that's the only con, but overall I like it. It has different exercises. You just do at home. This would be a great like warm up for PE or if you're a classroom teacher, kids can just pick out which one they want to do with a partner or by themselves for a brain break. out with our stuffed animal today so that's why I have Groku so if you watch Mandalorian you know this is Groku or if you don't you could just call it Baby Yoda they just love bringing their stuffed animals so might as well just bring them along so we can work out with their stuffed animal <gasps> all right so this is our warm-up for the stuffy workout we're gonna do 30 seconds each exercise so you see side stretches right and left low leg swings arm circle squats jog in place i'm always gonna constantly remind them to drink water jumping jacks high knee marches torso twists elbow to knee and run in place and then this is our main workout this is here for me so i could remember what exercise is next and i'm just gonna play this music in the background But, so I'm just gonna eat it with this, just the chick patties and sweet potato fries. So I'm just gonna have this for my lunch and then I have a meeting in an hour. So hopefully this all gets done so I can eat and then have my meeting and that's about it. <laughs> showered let me show you my new mug if this looks familiar and you go to target all the time then yes this is where i got my new mug i love their magnolia collection the magnolia collection are so cute i just want to get everything from that collection the mugs are so affordable they're like only i don't know 4.99 so basically five dollars but i love like the neutral colors it's so cute i love it i'm gonna be obsessed with this mug for a long time i was obsessed with the other mug for a long time and it was always in my videos. This time, I'm obsessed with this one. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing today with kids of today and tomorrow. All right, so this is what I'm doing with the kindergartens to third grade. We're gonna do a warm up and then we're gonna do a minion dance. So that's it for today and tomorrow with kindergarten to third grade. Older students, so like fourth grade to up. It's like a this or that music and dance edition. There are two options and then they pick whatever they like 
or if they don't like any, they could just pick an exercise they want to do. So there you go, break dancing, swing dancing, and then, and some of these, I don't even know if students know these, like this one, High School Musical or Glee. Like, I don't think they've seen these before, maybe some, but I'll tell them that you could just pick an exercise because I feel like, or this one, I feel like I don't even know if they know this, Sound of Music and Mary Poppins. Okay, I was just with the kindergartners and the the minion dance was not a hit which is good because that way i know what to change for other classes i found this valentine's day pe game and the kids have to find the gnome in one of the hearts all right so this is the valentine's day pe game that i found on youtube by pe with mr g and basically the kids have to pay attention try to find the gnome and they just have to guess where he's hiding by performing the exercises yoga poses or dance move so let me see, just a glimpse of it. And they perform that specific exercise and I feel like the kids are gonna like this way better. The Minion Dance, I found a video of this like parent and her two kids dancing and the kids just did not like that one. So I'm gonna do this one because it's a game and they have to pay attention. So it's always nice to have a first class because the first class is literally the test because I always either change it up or not for the next classes. So yeah, I am not playing that minion dance workout again. All right, so I've been obsessed with the mango banana smoothies. So it's just really simple. Orange juice, banana, and a couple of mangoes. So I've been loving the banana mango smoothies lately. Jogging side to side. Keep on going. Okay, my friends, for this one, watch me. We're gonna do high knee marches. Okay, that find the gnome activity was way better, way better. I'm gonna do it again a couple more times. So I have a next class in like five minutes. So I'm gonna chill for five minutes and then go to my next class and we're gonna do the same thing, but with a different class. And then I have my older group and then my middle schoolers, so. Good morning. It is Wednesday. I just had a class. It is 8.40 now. I ended class like seven minutes ago. Ugh. I'm like, I woke up so tired. I need to sleep earlier. Like, I always sleep like at 11, but I need to sleep like at 10. Oh, I'm gonna show you my teaching portfolio, my digital one. I did make a video of my, what's inside my teaching portfolio, but like the paper version. But in this one, I'm gonna show you my digital one so basically made a google website google sites of my teaching portfolio so i'm going to show you that right now all right so this is my google sites basically my teaching portfolio and then it has like my equity lens teaching philosophy this is the same link as this one so teaching philosophy from elementary teaching my definition of PE, work experience, a school I went to. They could like drop down and look at my work experience for and classroom management and how to build rapport with students, whether it's face to face or virtual, how I communicate with families. So that's basically it for my digital teaching portfolio. It is Thursday and I'm about to make my favorite smoothie. I got the goods. Or like, oh, <coughs> oh my gosh. Anyways, I'm gonna end the vlog right here because there's nothing else. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.